there guys, gals, non-binary pals, GM Potter here, and today we are doing Owl Crate, the Magical Monthly Reads. This will be my last Owl Crate because I've just been kind of disappointed with the book selections like the ephemera like the stuff is great don't get me wrong I love the stuff but I get it for the books so let's get into it this month's theme is star crossed and we've got little leaves and things here and this is the spoiler card so I will not look at that let's start with this little box uh, it's from lichen and limestone just a little box here it says uh, forbidden love and French aesthetics combine to make perfect bookish addition to your table with these ceramic salt and pepper shavers inspired by serpent and dove okay I don't think I own salt and pepper shakers like so let's take a look at these they come wrapped in little bubble wrap and it says let's get out of the light Chasseur, and it's got a little bird and a snake. I guess that's a serpent and a dove. And this one says Dame Blanche. And it's also got the little serpent and dove. And they just have the little rubber stoppers on the bottom. So Dame Blanche is the salt shaker. Chasseur is the pepper shaker. They're cute. Um. I don't know if I'll use them. I haven't owned salt and pepper shakers my whole adult life so far, so I don't know if that's something that I necessarily need. Um, I might pass them along to a friend, actually. But yeah, those are cute. And then we have another little box. This owl crate. The stars include us, they do not bind us. This these violent delights inspired ceramic tea bag rest will help you stay caffeinated. Perfect for those evenings when you read till the stars come out by Lady Chub Letters. I think. I'm not sure. But let's see. Oh, and it comes with a little silicone tea bag that you fill up with tea. And it's got a little leaf and a little moon and stars. And then Astra Inclinant said non obligant. So, as I say many times, my Latin is terrible, but that's the little tea bag rest, and it says owl crate on the bottom. This and this I will get a lot of use out of because I drink a metric butt ton of tea. So that I'm definitely going to hold on to. It's definitely going to get lots of use. So that's awesome. Oh, and now we get down to the literary luggage tag. And this one is 12 of 12. So this will go on my little board. And this is, says, spend time in Craig Nadoon. Oh, okay, I know this one. This one I know, this is Outlander, Craig Nadoon. Um, I read the Outlander books. I they were fine. Um, it just it felt like after the second book, it was just rehashing the same story beats over and over again. So, not my favorite book series, but I know a lot of people who love it, and I would never dismiss their love of it. And then we have something metal. You are the bane of my existence, the object of all my desires, which. That's awesome. And this is it's very metal sounding. It almost sounds broken. I hope it's not broken. Oh! They're little straws, little metal straws, and they're actually a heart. That is so cute. Um, I love straws. I love reusable straws because I hate the waste of plastic straws. So when I drink my iced coffee, I usually mix it with a straw. Oh, and it comes with, I just felt something squishy. It comes with a little bottle brush cleaner here. So you can actually wash them. So I'll probably repurpose the bag for something else because I like the bag. 
Um, but the straws will go in my straw holder and replace some of the reusable plastic ones. I like the metal ones better um, just because they're easier to throw in the dishwasher and wash. And then I give them a little scrub beforehand, a little scrub afterwards, but I can sanitize them in the dishwasher and that makes my life so much easier. <laughs> so that is awesome. And then we have something very pretty in kind of a stars and moons bag, which again, I will be saving this bag. Which, what are you? Oh, I'm going to set this here. <laughs> the dream chooses the dreamer. Okay. That is awesome. I like that. It's little pouches with this beautiful fabric that says the dream chooses the dreamer and it's got a little dowel and a little string to hold it up on. So that is pretty darn neat. Um, as you probably noticed, I'm redoing my office. There's a lot of clutter behind me and a lot of clutter beside me. Um, I got a new desk for my birthday uh, and so I'm redoing everything, so it'll look neater, but I'm batch filming today, so. And then we have a bookmark. It's very pretty. Scan to read the first three chapters. Ooh. Uh, un unshaley, I think is how you say it. It says unsealy, but I've been told that's wrong and that it's unshaley. It, it's it's Celtic. I'm not I don't I don't speak Gaelic. I'm very bad with Gaelic. I can barely speak English some days, but that's the bookmark. And I like that they give us a preview. Uh, it comes out on 1323. Um, I will definitely be giving that a go. And we've got a little blank envelope that seals with some more bookmarks. Okay. For tonight, maybe we can just be Layla and Elias. And then I guess it's got Layla and Elias. And then your soul sings to mine, your my soul to your is yours, and it will always be in any world. Which is interesting. Um, I guess these go with this, I think. I don't know. Um, let me figure that out. Bookmark set. Nope, these go to a completely different one. They go to uh, Daughter of Smoke and Bone, and the second, featuring Elias and Leia, um, is Ember, An Ember in the Ashes. They go to completely different books, but I like bookmarks. Um, I don't always use bookmarks because I'm the sort that will use anything that is flat and handy on my books. So. Um, on camping trips, back when I was in the Girl Scouts, I used leaves more often than I would like to admit. I've never dog-eared a page. I think that's evil and wrong and cruel. Um, no, I don't do that to my books. So, and then we have the book itself, which is The Poison Se Season by Mara Ruff Rutherford. And it says, Dear Owlcrate Reader, it has been a dream of mine to be featured in Owlcrate since my first book released three years ago, and I couldn't be more excited for this stunning edition of Poison Season. Poison Season is my fourth novel and one very close to my heart. It features so many things I love, a bloodthirsty forest, a unique magic, and an enemies to love a romance all set against the backdrop of a dark cottage color vibes. I hope you too will find something or someone to love between the pages. The forest is dark and the path treacherous, but there's beauty in the danger if you know where to look. All my love, Mara. Now that's cool. I hope it's a good book. Um, I always hope that these are good books. They're not always because I, I just haven't had good luck with the ones. I haven't read all of the ones I've gotten. Um, just because I have so much other, so many other books I'm reading, but the three I've read, I did not enjoy. So, there's that. And then, we have the magazine and the spoiler card. So here's the magazine. 
Um, we have an interview with Mara Rutherford. And then these are the two covers. Let's see. Which the one where my pinky is is the regular cover, and then the others, obviously the one that we got. Uh, hey Atlas Creative, interview with a vendor for they're the ones who did all the pins. Ooh, 2023 reading resolutions. Finish a book series you've already started, read books recommended by friends, use your library card more often. Um, that's definitely one of mine. I have a library card. I don't often use it. I could probably save myself a ton of money by going to my local library. As much as I love libraries, I just, especially right now, because I can't drive myself places, I, I need to go to the library more. Read the backlist of your favorite author, try a genre outside your comfort zone, set a daily reading goal like 20 minutes per day. I've already crushed that most days. Um, I typically read for one to two hours a day. I, I don't watch a lot of TV and what I do watch is mostly background noise. So keep a reading journal, which I have resolved to do. I got that beautiful reading journal last time. Uh, join a book club or start your own. I have a book club. Um, I need to be more active in my book club because I've missed the last couple meetings. Again, I can't drive. Um, declutter your shelves. Donate gifts, sell books you didn't enjoy. Um, I will actually be going over filming. One of the videos I have to film later today is a book unhaul where I'm going to donate them to my local mental health hospital and sell them to my local used bookstore and yeah. Uh, read a book before seeing the adaptation. Participate in a reading challenge. Well, this is a reading challenge, so yes. Uh, read around the world stories from foreign countries, which I do love. DNF books you're not enjoying, which stands for did not finish. Try fan fiction written for one of your favorite books. Uh, read the books you already own. I feel personally attacked by that one. Read more diverse books, which I am definitely trying to do. I always love uh, reading from diverse pasts and backgrounds. Like, it's fascinating. I get to learn more about my fellow man. Um, try reading in a new format, audiobooks, ebooks, manga, etc. I already read all of those. <laughs> like, I'll read just about anything. Uh, and check out new to you authors. So, like the poison season, try Far Wilder Magic, Winter Wood, and Into the Heartless Wood. And then. Oh, their Spotify playlist has a new playlist inspired by Bridgerton. Am I the only one on the planet that didn't like the Bridgerton books or the Bridgerton series? Like, the costumes were interesting, let's say. The costumes were interesting. It's supposed to be Regency, but it's Regency fantasy. Like, it doesn't have dragons or anything like that, but it's definitely a fantasy retelling of the Regency period. But the fabric choices, some of them just looked so cheap and especially on the bigger actresses, they didn't fit. And I myself, I don't know if you can tell this from the everything about me, am a bigger person. I look amazing in an ampere waist, like amazing in an ampere waist. So would these girls if they fit. That's the thing about the Regency period. It looks good on a lot of people. You just have to fit it to them. Like it's not... It's not that hard, especially when you've got a professional costume department. <sighs> Owl Crate January theme is Courting the Fae. So, which would be a good theme, but A, the books don't seem to have much to do with the theme. So there's that. At least in my experience, they don't have much to do with the theme. And I just, I've been so disappointed by the books themselves. Like, the books themselves are not... They're not what I'm looking for. So, do you get Owl Crate? Are you going to continue to get Owl Crate? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!